Thank you very much, Chair. Chairman. Uh, first of all, Minister, what I would have to say in, in this debate is a very simple, straightforward fact. Why, if a thing isn't broken, could you not let it alone? What you are going to do, do this single-handedly now in this legislative process, as was highlighted by the Farmers' Journal, and I want to thank them for the very scathing article that they wrote, which was very informative, and it let the farmers and the people of Ireland know exactly what you were doing in this legislation. And what you're doing is you're attacking a system that was working perfectly well, whereby if you go to Amart or any of the agri stores, you had uh, small, type, uh, small time providers of medicines and of all the doses and of all the different uh, medicinary uh, items that are needed by farmers, and they were providing an excellent service. Now you're attacking, number one, their way of, of living and taking away their livelihood from them, potentially. You're also then putting it all over on the vets, and then any time you attack the supply, you're potentially increasing the cost of the goods, and that's going to have a negative effect on farmers at a time when every euro is important. And the actual service that those people were providing then, and that's another thing called credit. There was often a time a person could be at a mart, and they mightn't have, have the wherewithal or the money to pay for what, but the, the person dispensing the medicines knew their customers, knew their farmers, knew they were good for it, and they, and they would give them a bit of credit, which is very important, until a cheque would come through maybe from the mart for the very animals that were selling maybe on the day or buying on the day. So you're interfering with all of that in this, and it just shows a complete lack of understanding of what the people are saying in the countryside. The farmers are aren't looking for this, the people providing the veterinarian items, they are not looking for it. And why in the name of God are you doing this? And if you come into the fertilizer, and look what you're doing with the fertilizer. This new initiative will be a major burden to farmers and, and merchants. While it is being sold as being about helping farmers maintain, the, maintain their nitrates, derogation, and monitoring department schemes, in reality it is more about monitoring farmers and beating them into submission to achieve stringent climate targets and ultimately reducing stocking rates. That's what this is actually about. Under this bill, farmers who don't register for the database will be flagged on the system and reminded to do so. All this would mean is when ordering fertilizer in the future, merchants, merchants will be legally required task for the farmers health number which must be registered in the national uh, fertilizer database and any dis dis discrepancy will be flagged and addressed by the DAFM through inspections, fine and potentially court appearances. Do you know what we should be debating here tonight? We should be debating the cost of fertilizer and what farmers have to pay for it and what they have to pay for medicines and how difficult it is to be a farmer today in the Ireland of today and instead you're here tying up more red tape, more legislation legislative quangoism and, and attacking again, like I say, the merchants. Have we anything to say? And I'd like for you now, when we'll be addressing this, am I out of time? No, you're okay. What I'd like for you to talk about is those merchants. And I'd love for you to tell me, what have you against them? If we take our local marts in County Kerry, there is a person operating inside in a room, providing a great service to their farmers, and is extremely knowledgeable about all the doses and everything. What have we got to say to those people who are attacking their way of living? And I'd love to hear who answer that. And I'd love to hear who say, yes, you don't give a damn about them, you'll shut them down, they'll go home, and their way of living, make a living for themselves and for their families. They were paying their tax, they were minding their own business, and now they're seeing it all being taken away from them. Have you got anything to say about that? I, thank you. <laughs>